So welcome to possibly the biggest mistake of my YouTube journey. Um, I'm going to be playing Man of Medan. Uh, or Man of Medan? Maiden? I don't even know just yet. Dark Anthology Pictures, which I've wanted to play for a very long time. I'm going to be playing it alone, of course. Um, I'm only going to be recording the first episode tonight before I record the rest tomorrow. I have a lovely day planned out um, for myself tomorrow. I've been ill lately, so I don't want to record too much tonight. And it's fucking night time. But I wanted to jump into it because I was just really, really excited. I bought it tonight and I want to play it. So we're jumping straight in. I'm going to give it a go. Now, just a, a fair warning, one of my biggest fears is water. With, like, open waters, being underwater, um, sharks, things in the water. I don't like it. They are awful for me. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty fucking terrified already. I don't like boats, I don't like whales, I don't like dolphins, octopuses, or octopi, I don't like anything to do with water. So, this is already gonna be fucking horrific for me. <laughs> but if you enjoy it, subscribe! <laughs> and don't forget to tick the bell, so that you'll get notified every time I upload an episode. I also do plan on streaming this in co-op with a friend. If it goes well, I will save the streams and edit them and post them on the channel. But here we go. I'm also not good with horror in general, so... I hate creepy music. <laughs> it's just not nice. So I'm guessing this is the ship that we're going to be exploring. We've got hints of religion, um, a lot of war related stuff. Ominous music. Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little bit I recognize him. I can't think of who it is though. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. I'll uh, put subtitles on as well as soon as I get the opportunity. I assume they'd be on. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You do these pictures, Okay, so I can ask so, a question. Uh, when am I gonna hit the jackpot? You know, uh, all that glitz and glamour. Uh, let's go, Dragon. Just red. Oh, we've got. Oh, we've got to pick it up and actually look at it. Oh no, no, no! Don't put it back down. Don't put it back down. <laughs> Bloody hell! It. It's a fish. Looks like a fish. It's definitely a fish. Can I put the subtitles on now? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, audio of a sex volume. Toggle subtitles, there we go. Yes, I do. Oh, brilliant. Doom? Wait. What? Doom? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? My traits have been updated. Let me get a go at it. 
Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? You can't be better than your friends, Yongshi. If I? Sure. Let me know the quote. I'm gonna start a tab. Knock it out. I'll give it a whirl. Oh god, I've actually got to do it. Boom. Booyakashan. Way. Way. Quick on the draw. Oh, we got QTEs. Oh no. Uh, excuse me? I'm doing pretty good. I didn't do good that time. Oh, I almost didn't get it. This is getting increasingly more quick. I played Guitar Hero for a very long time, madam. That was pretty good. Uh, yeah, looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know? Why am I in this black hole? Wasting time. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. So our characters have traits similar to the Until Dawn characters. I didn't play Until Dawn because. I'm an Xbox boy. I'm an Xbox boy. Being an Xbox boy comes with a whole host of lovely pleasures like really, really bad Halo games, no more Fable games, and crippling depression. But now we get to experience Man of Medan. What is that? And why is it? What? 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 Why? 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 Baby, 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 baby. I was gonna say, why is it? I was white. Is it? Why is it on the ship? Why are we taking that? I would like to leave it. Hey man. Hey, where's my, where's my fifty cents? You what? Fifty cents. What fifty cents? Come on, man. Hey, buzz off. Buddy. Nobody pushes me. What the around. fuck's going on? Oh! This is all escalated very quickly. These men appear to be drunk off their rear ends. Get this one to the medical board. Throw the other in the brig. And keep it there. Are we gonna release some like PBGB voodoo on the ship? Oh, that's loud in my ear. <laughs> Fucking shat in my eardrum. Oh no, it's leaking. Oh, it's like an episode of Scooby Doo. Uh oh. We're gonna have to face zombies. All I know is that we're going to explore this abandoned ship. I don't know anything else. Hello. Sedation? What's going on? Oh, I didn't like that, that was weird. So is this like our brother? 
Oh, our son. Okay, you just look quite young to be a father. Anything over here? No? Why did I feel like something was going to happen there? Have we woken up and just everyone's dead? Just a normal key. Don't need to L.A. Noir it. Who is this man? Can't interact with him at all. I thought he might have like a little bit of monologue about it, but... Let's get the fuck out of here. Which way are we meant to be going? I don't know which ways we can actually go. It looked like a two-way hallway. <laughs> I don't like all these confined spaces, this would be awful. He says, after saying he'd love to live in a place like Metro 2033. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Oh god, yeah, what's wrong? Is that fucking camera on your face there? Oh, and you've just walked through me, pal. Oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh, fucking hell. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Oh, okay. So I've just got to go, ba boom. Okay. Oh my god. You'd assume we'd be moving significantly quicker. <laughs> what was that? Uh-uh. No. We don't do kids. Not on this channel. We don't do kids. In any form. I want kids watching. I want kids in the videos. We don't do kids at all. Cannot. No. Don't do kids. Especially not in horror. Don't need it. Not about that grief. I'll fucking wander down here, I guess. This shiny thing. Oh no, something's gonna pop up at the fucking window. Isn't it? Maybe it's not. Ooh, you little fucker. Bar They've been weak so far. Really cheap jump scares. The sound one got me earlier. That one, it was like I'm waiting for something to happen, but I was expecting it with a window. That camera angle's cool. But we're still early on in the game, so. God damn. Another stick? Who's the last? Oh, damn it. Buckley. Oh Last my god. I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor Look at him. He's frozen from fright. Oh my god. I don't like how they're not really like commenting on it. They're not freaking out enough. Another brilliant camera angle. Love a good bit of cinematography.
Ah, we got, oh, um, we don't walk that fast. <laughs> I was like, yes, we can maybe move to a, a, a leisurely jog. So, uh, is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> hey, fat dudes. You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? No. <laughs> that one gave me the shivers. That one were a good one. You got me. It's the fucking sound of it. Charlie, get over here. What has happened? Oh, jeez. I'm gonna say, grab a gun. I'm glad we're not playing as Charlie because I really don't want the knife. I'll happily take a fucking Thompson. Is that the kid from my photo? I'm not shooting that. I don't don't make me shoot that. Hello. Oh. Oh, we should have maybe shot it. Is that it? Am I just dead? Is that the end of the game? <laughs> I t oh god, I'll, I'll not know whether or not I did the right thing. I quite liked him. Oh. I was starting to warm up. Hello, sailor. We've got no one to play as. What the fuck? Those are really fantastic looking teeth for a video game. What a brilliant intro. Um, I'm going to have to skip this for copyright reasons, I think. I'm not sure. We'll wait and see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Won't you spare me over till another year? Well, it feels like Until Dawn as well, and I wanted to play it so badly. Look at this! Who's this fucking dude? And I know who Sean Ashmore is as well. I'm pretty certain he's Iceman from X Men. And he was in Quantum Break. Really, really like him in video games. Oh my god. That's like some fucking demon possession shit. Well, 
This is fucking cool. <laughs> I don't know if I like, can I skip this? I might have to cut it out, but we'll have to wait and see. So I wonder if we're going to be able to see all these things within the game. Or maybe this is an introduction to Dark Anthology? An original store. Jason Grave. What a name. Hello. Hey up. And welcome. Thank you. To my repository. Oh, I love a depository. I am the curator, the curator of stories. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are... <laughs> snuffed out. I think the snuffing is probably going to be a little bit more frequent. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions, or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? Preferably not. Depends what day it is, I guess. As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. Okay, yeah, we get it, I'll butterfly. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Thank you. Here's one for free. <laughs> there are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. So like the totems. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Oh, fuck me. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. Well, we'll That's see who we get moment. first. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll awesome. have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. <laughs> well, at least he's prepared. I prefer this over the Until Dawn Psychiatrist setting. This makes a lot more sense. This whole curator thing. So here we go. Witty Brad. Alex, I thought his name was Witty Brad. <laughs> <laughs> He's somebody's brother. He's witty. I like witty people. But we'll see. We'll give him a ch we'll give him a shot because he's got glasses. We stand a man with glasses. Alex. Hello. He's insecure. What are you insecure for? Look at those pecs. Immaculate. If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down. The water. Diving. Oh no. Maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna be shaking like a shitting dog. Without taking any lessons. Uh, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Um. It's. It's what? 
It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing. I'm kind of like trying to express. No, no, no. I was trying to like Whoa, appeal to the insecurities and like also seem insecure so that we can share each other's confidence. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? <laughs> Alright, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. Well, I'm not being cynical. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? We'll play Brad off as being a, a witty but nice uh, guy. Can... What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Somewhere where they're not going to fall on somebody. We don't need like a Final Destination 5 Buddha situation. We've got traits upgraded. Okay, let's take a look at this real quick while he's putting that fucking beer somewhere else. So these look like the mirror pieces. So we're going to be able to like look at things maybe. We've also got bearings. I have no fucking clue what these are. And then we've got the person that we're currently playing as. Innocent, witty, eager, truthful. Hello Brad, he's got a wonderful face. That face, look at those paws. Beautiful paws. Look at those freckles. Sorry. Uh, he's also quite anxious, apparently. Sort of like weak. The anxious is a little bit weaker than everything else. He's maybe just a little bit anxious. And then it shows us all of the relationships with our other characters. Hey. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? It's just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? Oh, God. I don't know what's the right thing to do. You've not got someone pregnant, have you? Um, give it some thought. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. So we've upgraded a bearing. So I'm telling him to think things through. So this bearings now look like your bearings on the situation. So it looks like it could go one way or the other. Um... And maybe these are like all of my butterfly effect things. So yeah, the propose. Oh, he's going to propose to somebody. Hey, Julia, Conrad's sister, reckless and excited. Conrad, Iceman, aka Bobby, aka Man from Quantum Break, aka I've already forgotten his traits. It doesn't matter because we will be changing people Sorry. anyway. Connie. This is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. Hello. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way. My little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Wanna crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. Sure, bro. Um, I get seasick. Oh, I do get seasick. Shit. Uh, 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 cool. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Tight. I love Tight. <laughs> On fleek. Mofo. <laughs> We've upgraded a tray. I won't always be clicking to this. I just kind of wanted to see. So we've got Envious. I think that might be new. Eager. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I won't... I will check on those every so often. I won't always look. Right on, Radical. I like the but, cut of uh, your ship. It's Jib. Don't ruin it. Uh. You ever do any diving before? Mm. Um, no. Actually. How is that gloomy? Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. You can pop my cherry any day. Uh. Don't be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Who else we got? Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? 
ruthless, impatient, captain of the Duke of Milan, and courageous. She's a Samoan. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh... she's got like a Samoan-looking tattoo on her leg. So is everybody on board and ready to go? She don't look happy with us. There's something not right going on here. Oh fucking hell. <laughs> He's gone fucking ass over tits. <laughs> 